what's up with picks? There's so many kinds of picks and there's so many brands and styles and materials and gauges or thicknesses of picks. So let's talk about that real quick. I'm gonna show you my collection here. Uh, this is a tri-corner pick and these all on this side here are tri-corners. They're nice because they each have three corners on them. So obviously they'll last longer. I like them because I can really grab them and not necessarily like grab at them, but there's a lot of surface area here to work with. So when I'm strumming or playing, I feel like it's, it's just a tool in the hand. I'm not really gripping down on it. This is a heavier pick. It's a 1.5 uh, millimeter and it's probably the heaviest that I would actually go with. The heavier picks are gonna give me more bass response out of the guitar. And I'll show you here, this side here is all the teardrops. These are really light picks here. They're super light. They're really good for nothing. This is the lightest pick and I only keep it just so I can show you what they sound like. But this pick you're gonna hear is nothing but high end. So bright, I have no oomph to my guitar. And if I spend money on my guitar, I want that oomph, because that's what I, I paid for. I paid for that woof. Um, but that said, if I was in a recording session and I wanted to get a nice floaty sound, this would be the pick to use, a lighter pick. So it does have some use. It's just going to be really, really limited. Um, here's another pick. I don't know what material this is, uh, but this is a, a different type of plastic. Um, there's another cool trick you can do with um, these, these teardrop. You can see this isn't a perfect teardrop, but you can use these back ends as, um, as a point. I'll do this one here, this, this blue one. Um, so I can, instead of using the, the front of the pick or the point, you can hear how that's still got that brightness to it. Um, I can use those back corners and it warms it up right away. So that's kind of a nice, if I can't, you know, if I forgot my tri-corner and I can only get a teardrop shape. You know, it's not too bad. There's the point. You can hear the point's got that brightness to it. So it really depends on how much I want to um, have the high end of my guitar come out or not. Um, I find that these have the most control. This is, um, it's not tortoise shell, but it's some kind of a, a horn or shell material. And you can hear that's got a nice balance too. You know, I can hear, I can hear my low ends, I can hear my high ends. Back to this one here. That one shaved off some of the high end there, so now I've got more of the mid range and the um, the low ends. This one here is really obnoxious. This is uh, uh, Jim Dunlop. This is a 2.07. Um, let's see this guy here. And this is going to sound really, really bassy. You can hear how there's, there's no high end here. Plus, there's no give. There's absolutely no give. And I want my pick to have a little bit of give, because like I was saying in an earlier session, um, we're creating a lot of energy here. We're transferring a lot of energy. I'm coming at the string. My whole arm is moving. I'm driving through the strings. I'm making them vibrate. And the stiffer the pick, the less absorbing it's gonna do of that energy. I want the pick to absorb some of that energy, otherwise it's gonna go right into my wrist. So consider that too, is you want something that has just a little bit of give. This one, even though it's a thicker pick, I can feel it's got a little bit of give. These just have too much. That's just too much there. This is, I don't, you know, again, I don't know what you'd use it for. Um, and you can feel the materials. These, these Tortex have this kind of uh, more um, flexible material. This one just cracked. So th these tend to be, these, these kind of fender ones tend to not be so great. Um, that Dunlop one is, is crazy. Um, this one feels kind of smooth. Could manage that if I had to. Again, back corner on the teardrop. So when you're picking a pick, um, you know, try some different ones and there's there's other styles out there as well But basically you want the pick to be able to move in your hand and that sounds weird because I think a lot of players suffer from the pick moving while they're playing and that makes it difficult sometimes to execute certain 
um, passages or, or, or tunes because you need the pick to be consistent in a consistent spot. So one of the things I recommend is taking your pick and just moving it in your hand. Get used to moving it into place, move it out of place. Just kind of drop it around and get used to doing that because sometimes you'll be playing and you're going to have to readjust the placement of the pick on the fly. So consider that as well. And again, we don't want the tension here. We don't want tension anywhere. All right, so that's what's up with picks. <laughs> 